Welcome. This is the Cork NTS1. I'm Jesper and this is the Modular Clubhouse. So let me introduce you to the Cork NTS1, the star of today's show. So this is my first synthesizer that I've ever bought. It was in January or maybe December. Um, so December 2020, January 2021, we were still of course under COVID lockdown we were in and it was a crazy time because I've done everything I could have done I was I was playing video games I was spending a lot of time reading up on microphones and I was in desperate need of a new hobby and I was again looking for nice microphones and then I saw a DIY kit to build your own synthesizer of course well it's not real DIY, you didn't need any soldering skills or anything like that. But it was just something that you could put together yourself and then you could say, I've built a real synthesizer. And I said, well, what what the heck? Let's give it a try, right? And I bought this thing and I, it took me like 15 minutes to put it together. And then, of course, you start playing around with it. And it's such an amazing little machine and it can do so many things and I'm going to dive into what you can do with it and I'll probably not even touch 50% of what this tremendous thing can do. But it made me fall in love with synthesizers. It, this, is, this, this thing is responsible for me starting a YouTube channel on synthesizers. This is a well, this thing alone is now responsible for me considering diving into Eurorack. Well, if that's not a great thing, then this is the, probably like the best gateway drug out there. Um, it's going to set you back probably like 100 euros, 100 dollars, the same amount in G, uh, GBP probably. And yeah, I can, cannot recommend this thing enough. Uh, and one of the key things is, of course, it can do so many things. It, it, it's a... It's your synthesizer, it's an effects board uh, because you can loop through any sort of audio right there through it. So let's start. So let's have a quick look at the NCS-1. So first of all, well, the first thing you're gonna notice is this really tiny keyboard. And the funny thing is, of course, as this has USB and is a USB MIDI device, this is probably like the world's smallest USB MIDI keyboard. Uh, and you can actually use it that way as well if you're a masochist. Um, other things you might be able to see is of course, uh, well, USB volume control, the MIDI in, and of course the sync in and out if you want to clock this to, a, let's say a Volca or anything else. And you've got audio in if you want to use this as an, epic, an, an effects pedal of sorts. And of course, you've got your headphone connections. Other than that, well, as you've seen, this was a self-built device. So it's a bit rough around the edges, but other than that, it's a beautiful piece of machinery. You've got a small speaker there as well, but I won't bother you with that. Let's connect it. So it's powered through USB, micro USB. So if you've got one of those lying around, you can still use that. And it boots up rather quickly and then you can immediately, well, have some fun with it. So you have several uh, oscillators that come pre-installed. So you've got your saw, your triangle, your square, VPN, which is probably going to be, well, this is either UPN or VPN. But if you look at it at the actual waveform, it looks remarkably like a sine wave. So let's call it a sine. And then you've got waves and, and others. But let's have a quick listen, shall we? So first off, saw. Just a saw wave, as you can see. You can play around with it. And it looks uh, rather nice. And you can then, of course, with the other port meters here, you can actually make, make some changes to the actual form of it. And really play around and make some really dirty sounds with it. There you go. Some of the other things you can do, of course, is of course LFO. So you can do this and uh, give this something. There you go. On the P 
pitch. Let's go to the triangle. Oh, I've got too much effect going on. There we go. A nice triangle wave. Nothing wrong with that. And you've got your square. You can always play around with the uh, the pitch width. A bit of amplitude there as well that you can play around with and for some of them you actually have additional settings but let's first play with the LFO here oh wow that's nice isn't it This is beautiful. A beautiful piece of tech, if you ask me. Let's uh, return it to normal. Like that. And as said, you can actually load additional oscillators to this. So I've just gone online and downloaded a few. I'm not even sure what each of these does, but I'll learn. I'm pretty sure I will. Here you go. Dancing waves, dancing wave. Sorry, there is so much to do with this thing. It's a beautiful piece of tech, and this is actually the device that got me to fall in love with synthesizers. So it's responsible for a lot of things. Ah, beautiful. And then, of course, you also have filters there. So you've got a two-pole, a low-pass filter, a four-pole low-pass filter band pass both versions and, uh, and and high pass of course as well and you can turn it off but it look it sounds rather remarkably so let me just put this in saw mode and make the wave a bit better behaved let's switch to the filter put the low pass filter on and just play with the cut -off fre frequency a bit as you can see it is it's doing a tremendous job but then let's get some resonance going and see what we can do with this. Oh wow, that's almost a perfect sign there. It's beautiful, oh wow. Just listen to that, it's beautiful isn't it? It is what it is. Can do the sweep, let us set the sweep a bit lower. Sweep up and down. Ooh. That's nice. Let's put it back to normal. And then you've got your well your envelope generator there as well. So let's put it in and let's turn the attack and release all the way up. nice and you've got some other options here as well you can play and you can put it open of course that's <laughs> as it should be <laughs> and then you have modulation so you've got your chorus uh, ensemble phaser flanger and as said I've downloaded some of the custom ones there as well so not all of these will be found on a uh, on a vanilla NTS one but it is rather nice just listen to this The fun thing is, of course, that with the external audio in, you can use the modulation, the delay, and the reverb as an external effect box of sorts. So you can do all sorts of things with this. This is this is what I really like about the the NTS one. It's so extremely versatile. You can do all sorts of things with this. There we go. Got the flanger. Let's turn this off again. 
and we have our normal saw again. Let's go to the delay. Oh, I still have the attack and release. Oh, there we go. It's of course always a bit, well, to play around with something like this. And I do, well, it's a shame that I put this together before I decided I wanted to do these things on YouTube because putting it together was actually a quite a bit of fun. It took me like, well, maybe 15, 20 minutes, but still, the idea of actually building your own synthesizer was quite a, was quite a thing for me. So let's do the delay real quickly. So we've got the stereo delay, which of course you won't hear because this is now being recorded in mono. And you've got some nice mono there. And you can do all sorts of things with this. I love this. High pass. This is just a great piece of tech. Same thing is true for the reverb. Just the the amount of noise you can create with just a small box is just great. It's just crazy, right? And of course the fun thing really starts when you start to uh, to appagiate. So if you hold it, it'll, it's going to latch. And there you have it. You are appagiated. And you can just play around with all the other things in the meantime. just fun isn't it so well there you have it you can do all sorts of things with this great machine um, I've probably not, not even touched half of it in this video I've done so many fun things and fun projects with this already so I hope you guys uh, have a chance to pick one up and have a, a and build one and actually enjoy doing this but um, there you have it so I hope everyone enjoyed this, well, first real episode on the Modular Clubhouse. Um, I've still got a lot to learn, so any piece of advice, whether it's regarding making videos or regarding synthesizers, and more specifically, any of your tips and tricks regarding getting started into Eurorack would be much appreciated. I'll keep churning out content until someone tells me to stop and maybe i'm not even listening if that happens so uh, hope to see you for the next episode hope you enjoyed this i would say take care cheers